We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Milwaukee Brewers. The Yanks enter the day with their winning streak at 10 games. They'll try to extend it next. Freddie Peralta, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you can tell by this strikeout-to-walk ratio, 2-1, to one, that this guy is more a pitch-to-contact guy than a strikeout-walk guy. So here's the cleanup hitter, that Mickey cool. Mantle. And the Yanks the trying to make this first seven. inning even sweeter Mickey. here. Mantle. From the stretch. Hey. Curveball looked at here for strike one. And guys, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. They dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just twice in their last eight tries. Yeah, Maddie, these ball, players right. got in their cars today to drive to the stadium, focused on one thing. Not who was going to be the hero, just the fact that they needed a W, and that Stay one of their now, teammates, Jared, whether go. it's them or someone else, has to come up with a big knock. Hard hit ball to second. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. No, he thinks. Not particularly graceful there, and as a result, he'll be slapped with an E4 on the play. Next for New York, Lou Gehrig. First shot for him here as he comes in currently leading the junior circuit in hitting. Boy, talking yeah. about having a great month. He absolutely killed it last month, hitting over 400. This guy's one of the most dangerous hitters in one. all of baseball. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes, two away. Well, I have to give credit to him oh, on the mound for not letting that, that previous it. pitch get to him. He wanted it, down. but he didn't get hey, the call. Like but I love how he didn't Ooh. let it affect him, and he comes right back with another good pitch and gets the punch out. He said the 0-1. Pitch oh. inside the throw. One one. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and, and a lot bank. easier Here to drive go. in. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Just behind the fastball there, two, two strikes now. So let's take a peek at the officiating crew in this one. Behind the plate is Kenny Jansen. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, d -Road, not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below come the knees. Side, if this pitch on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Walter Johnson gets the ball for the Yankees in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a lot of fun. This guy won the Cy Young Award last year in the AL, so he knows how to pitch. And one of the things he does effectively, he attacks the strike zone. And if he does that, he should be fun to watch in this one. Digging in, Mickey Mantle, who comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far Mickey. after reaching on an error his Mantle. first time up. From the belt, the pitch. This is pulled into right. Come on, and that's in there. Base hit. Hard. Wagner rounds third and is digging for the plate. He comes across oh, to score maybe, maybe. as it's now a 2 nothing ball game. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. Striding into the box, Lou Gehrig. And their runners at the corners now. Lou Gehrig. The 1-1. One -one. Grounded weakly to the left. A throw to the plate. The throw here is not in time. He beats Grandal's tag.
Into the box now, Joe Torrey. Now he got on top of one and was a ground out victim Joe last time. Torrey. Mantle on second. Gehrig at first, one gone. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher than throwing a fastball right by a guy. Now batting, the first baseman, Don. And he ball misses with it for ball Mattingly. four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. What's the saying? Uh, when you find yourself in a hole, the first thing you should do is stop digging. Well, the guy on the bump obviously hasn't heard that one. Standing in now for the Yankees, now Eddie batting. Matthews. The and he does so with two gone in the Eddie. inning, but with the bases Matthews. loaded. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Three ball, two wow, strike. this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0-2 to, to work the count like, back yeah, to 3-2. And, and he's seen a lot of pitches, too. Got him. So the slide, damage winds up not slide, being slide. as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. The Yankees lead it three to nothing. Digging in now for the Brewers. Now Paul batting. Molitor. Third 0 for baseman. 1 here in the early going. Paul Molitor. And he sends it the other way toward right center. Mantle's on the move. And that's into the gap and should be Rehead, extra Rehead, bases. Rehead. Around second now and headed for third. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. So just like that, he's a... Striding forward now, the, the Yankee cleanup hitter, seven. Mickey Mantle. Mickey. He singled his last time up. Mantle. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. Ball one, no strikes. A ball of no strikes. Hey, let it rip one time. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Suter typically throws a lot of strikes coming in out of the bullpen, oh. resulting in low walk totals, although he has been snake bitten by the home run ball at times in the past. Oh, One of the keys for this guy, Matt, is not being afraid to attack the strike zone. With that said, he is prone to giving up the home runs. I think one of the cause of that, Matty V, he leaves a lot of pitches up in the strike zone. He needs to be right, down in the zone when he's effective. Even count, two balls and two strikes. Hey, see it, try it. Let's go, big dog. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. And that is gone! So it's a solo shot to dead center. Number 25 for him on the year. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Mickey field. Mantle. He homered earlier and Mickey. is two for three to this point. Man. That last at bat, he didn't Here crush that change up for a home run. But listen, a home run is a home run. This guy's awfully strong, and he can hit it out to any part of the ballpark. Good fastball down home around run. the knees there, taken for a strike. Hey, I'm surprised he went to that spot in his own. This guy's known for being a down and in hitter. Don't expect too many pitches going in that spot. Mm, clearly fooled oh, there good. on the slider. Got to believe you're going to get some tough pitches in this count with the base open at first. This is where you have to regroup and find a way to get a good pitch to drive in that run. Lays oh, off that, that time, and it's one and two. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. 
And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. Stepping into the box, the Mickey Mantle. He went seven. deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Mantle. Here comes the first pitch. And he turns on one, sending it high on, and deep hard, to right. Go a ball that's carrying. And he makes a nice catch on the track. Is that it? Into the box, Ryan Braun. He leads off their half of the eighth, and they've been unable to get that starter out of the game to this point. Yeah, he settled in early on the mound, partly due to the lead his guys gave him to take some of the pressure off. He's taken that and pitched very effectively in this one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Gehrig, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Well, I know you don't want to jinx it by talking about it, but this streak now, it's up to 11 games. When you're playing this well, you think the good times are going to last forever. But in baseball, trust me, this game has a way of humbling you. They should enjoy this ride, though, while it lasts. 8-3 tonight. So the Bronx Bombers jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Walter Johnson earned his ninth win of the year as he turns in eight strong innings of work. Freddy Peralta couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Yankees, eight runs on 13 hits. One error, they left nine men on base. For the Brewers, three runs, 11 hits. One error, they left 15 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 33 minutes.